two balls and one strike. Garbage to Otani again. Reaches out, smacks it to short. There's Kim. There's Bogarts. Hey. The force is late. And you see one of the tools that is probably underappreciated, just given everything that he does, he got great speed. This isn't even close, and it could be a routine double play for a lot of people, but he is flying out of that left-hand batter's box. A little bit of frustration, I'm sure, with his first at bat in the Dodger uniform. And a one-two pitch as he'll take strike three. Freddie Freeman down by way of the K for a strikeout for you, Darby. And Freddie knew it, and this pitch from Darvish has some serious movement to it. It's a two-seam fastball. Freeman gives up on it, but it comes right back in the inner third for the called strike. Glass now comes home and finishes off a one, two, three first inning, back footing that slider and finding it as you hope that he may. We're through with an inning and no score. And at bat number two, coming for Shohei Otani. Grounded out his first time, reached down a fielder's choice. Here it comes, Otani. Lines a base hit to right field. His first hit as a Dodger comes against Yu Darvish in Seoul, Korea. The foul ball had backspin and went a long way. This ball hit almost as hard at 112 miles an hour, but with some top spin. If it even had no spin or backspin, it goes a long, long way. But this one good for a single. And once he strikes out, so Darvish gets out of the jam. Took a lot of pitches to do so, but he works his way around a bases loaded scenario with his third strikeout. Couldn't pick a better time as he gets Max Muncy to end the inning. Dodgers don't score. Two and a half done or scoreless from Seoul. To center, it's falling fast and it falls in for a base hit for Xander Bogarts. From third comes Wade and the Padres take a one nothing lead. Xander Bogarts driving in the first run of the ball game and of the season for the Padres. Breaking ball down and away off the end of the bat, and Xander reaches out, dumps it into shallow center with the infield in. Boy, a lot going on in this inning. The nice walk by Wade. The ball struck well to center field, and the Padres are on the board. On this one two pitch, Hayward hits it in the air to right field. Should be deep enough to tie the game. Tatis has a cannon, but it's way out there. Here comes his throw. Hernandez to the plate, and he's in there safely. Now without the thrill of seeing Tatis's arm. First run of the year for the Dodgers comes on a sacrifice fly from Jason Hayward. And the game is tied at one. Nice at bat from Jason Hayward putting the ball in play and getting it deep enough to right field. Swings at the 0-2, grounds one to shortstop. Bets to second for one on to first on the backhand. Freeman able to pick it. And a run scores So the double play. But in the back door from third comes Machado and the Padres have the lead again on top two to one. Well, a good pitch, keeping it on the ground here. And uh, this year's shortstop, Betts, feeds to Lux for the 6 4 3. Kim takes third, Padres take the lead. Cosgrove comes home and Otani or Betts spots one into center field for a base hit to open the fifth. Slides for Otani throughout, and it's a ground ball left side. Diving is Wade, flips to second base. They get the out there, and it's Kim who covers. So the shortstop covering, and a nice defensive play by Tyler Wade to get the lead runner, Mookie Betts. This is not an easy play. Let's start with the ball hit on the left side as Wade. They're playing in a shift, of course, two on each side, but there's the dive. Now somebody's got to get back to the bag. Kim's got to backtrack, but everybody is on the move. That's a big out for San Diego. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Kike Hernandez. Matsui gets his first strikeout in a Padres uniform. Well, that's a great off-speed pitch. We just saw it back-to-back. -back. It's the split finger, and you can tell why over 10 seasons he had 860 strikeouts, 236 saves from the left-hander. Tani down the first baseline. Looks like he's going to stay fair. So Peralta fires the first. Nice play. It's never easy when you're in line with the runner. And he fires to Cronenworth. Not an easy play for Cronenworth either. Yeah, a lot going on right here. So the lefty twirls. There's the dribbler. Now you've got to get it. Spin glove side. Throw on the inside part. Credit not only the throw from Peralta, but the stretch from Jake down there at first base to get Otani. Zokar who gets
sits there at the edge of the track and the game is tied. Muncie in to score. Two to two in the eighth. PK gets the job done. Puts the bat on the ball. Hits it far enough like Jason Hayward did to get the sack fly. The Dodgers still have the table set with first and second one out. And pressure on the Padres. Go ahead run in scoring position in the form of Teoscar Hernandez. Gavin Lux chops one right side. Outman gets out of the way and the ball gets into right under Cronenworth. Dodgers take the lead. Gavin Lux chops one to the right side of the infield. Jake Cronenworth couldn't get it. Cronenworth is walking off the field saying the glove broke and he needs a new first base glove. What a tough break for the Padres. The way he fields going to his right. Going two on bets now. Here comes Morahone. Mookie pulls one left side and through. Here comes Outman. Azokar's throw to the plate is cut off. And an RBI single from Mookie Betts makes it 4-2. to two. Betts with his second hit. On for the third time. The machine is starting to get some oil and gas in it. A little bit of his, the walks and the error and the broken glove. But boy, he's starting to find some holes and hit the ball hard. Off the end of the bat center field that gets the job done Lux bolting home and Shohei Otani has followed Mookie Betts with an RBI single of his own this one not hit hard but boy does it find some outfield turf just a nightmare of an inning for the Padres four for the Dodgers here in the eighth Otani with his first run batted in as a Dodger bouncer Gavin Lux running throw to end the game. And the Dodgers start this highly anticipated 2024 season with a 5 2 win over the Padres in Seoul. Nice save from Evan Phillips. Very uneventful ninth inning, but an eventful offseason for the Dodgers and a great memory here in game one of 2024. And a liner to right field for Cronenworth. That's in for a hit back towards the wall. Around from second base comes Bogarts. Tatis being waved around all the way from first. He will score on the triple for Jake Cronenworth, and the Padres take a 2 0 lead. What a start for San Diego. Jake Cronenworth swinging early. See what the pitch is. It's a split finger. And it just kind of rolls up there right down the center of the plate. Good hit. And Jake needed that. The Padres needed that. Kim, it's a fly ball to center field. Back goes Altman. He will get there to make the catch as Tang at third base and scoring is Cronenworth. And the Padres take a 3 0 lead. Sack fly for Hassan Kim. Taking some pitches out of the zone, working the count, and getting a pitch that he could drive. Well, I tell you what, you got to hit it a ton and then some to get one out of here. He squared that one up. It had a nice sound to it for the sack fly. On the ground, down the third base. That's a fair ball under the glove of Muncie. Around from second comes Machado. He will score into second. Goes Luis Campisano, and the Padres take a 4 0 lead. From our vantage point up here, that ball it hit before the bag and then goes over the bag. According to Lance Barksdale, that is over the bag. Muncie can't get to it. Padres got action. 3 2 pitch. Driven to right on a line, and that'll get down. Around from second base comes Campisano. He will score and the Padres put a five spot on the board in the first inning. Tyler Wayne driving in this run. Good to see the bats are out early. He really squared that one up and uh, he carries it over here in the first inning. That ball was smoked. Good swing. Slices a drive to right center field. Tatis on the run. It's over his head and it's off the wall. Dodgers have their first extra base hit of the season. It comes from Will Smith. And it has him on the board as Shohei Otani steps on home with his first Dodger run score. The all-star catcher for the Dodgers comes up with the double, and he smoked this ball. Is that first home run coming? In the air to right field, sending Tatis back onto the track with room. In from third comes Lux. And it's 5-2. How can you be off balance like it looked like he was and hit it that hard and that far? You can just see he is not in his legs at all. That is all upper body. Bogart sends this to right center. It's in for a hit. 
From third comes Campisano. Behind him is Wade. The throw to the plate will be late. Two more runs for the Padres, and they take a 7-2 lead. Xander Bogarts driving in a pair. Padres squaring up some balls in this inning right here, and Bogarts is no exception. Boy, I tell you what, 7-8-9 coming through. Knock, knock, knock. Nice to see the brown and gold getting a workout tonight, running the base and scoring some runs. And now a 1-2 to Merrill, and a liner to right field, and that's a base hit. First major league hit for Jackson Merrill, and that loads the bases. So Jackson Merrill's first big league hit. And there it is. DJ Laidlaw will take care of that. He got the hands in. We saw that in spring training using the whole field. Action Jackson aboard for his first big league knock. Congratulations. To third, and it's off the glove of Muncy. From third base, scoring is Merrill. And going to third base is Bogarts. Padres add another run and take an 8 2 lead. Muncy having that one go off his glove and into left. Muncy shaking his head. Let's see if this one's playable right here. The high chopper kind of rushed it, came in on it, trying to play it on the short hop off the thumb of the glove. 1 1 to Cronenworth. Again, Tatis takes off, and here's a fly ball to center. That is caught in center field by Altman trying to double off Tatis at first, but nobody's covering first. <laughs> Tagging and scoring was Bogarts. So Freeman ends up over by second base. The throw goes to first. Well, Fernando's getting his running in, that's for sure. This ball is struck. Smith at third, Muncie at second, Altman. Chops it to first. That'll bring home another run. Smith in to score. And it's 9 to 3 as Altman picks up an RBI, his first one of the year. This offense feels like they can come back, but they're going to need some zeros posted from the other end. Got a run in all three innings. Hayward with two away. Lines the ball into center field, base hit to score Max Muncy, and it's 9 to 4. That's big. The Dodgers getting a hit with a runner in scoring position. Coming into that at bat, they were one for six, but Jason Hayward changed that. Both these starters chewed up and spit out quickly. I'm talking in this game. I know. High fly ball to deep left field. Profar is going back. It is off the wall. Hayward's in to score. Here comes Lux. Kim's throw to the plate, not in time. Mookie Betts with a two run double off of the wall. It's nine to six. You know, you could just drop your jaw right now watching this team only the second game. And they're just, here we come. Three straight, two out hits. Line to right, and that's in for a base hit. From third comes Jackson Merrill, and the Padres take a 10 6 lead. Second hit of the game for Cronenworth. Driven in three now. Tell you what, the uh, the Padres have been barreling up some pitches now into the double digits in the R column. Three one, high fly ball, deep left center field. It is gone. Mookie Betts a two run home run, first homer of the year for the Dodgers, and it's a two run game. Right around the halfway point in this game, and it is still a game even there's 18 runs. Betts has his first one this year. End of the count, 2 0. Hard hit and a fair ball down the left field line, headed towards the corner. Around from second comes Azokar with the 11th Padres run, and they take an 11 8 lead. Luis Campisano with his third hit of the ball game drives in a run. Well, the bottom of the order doing a number on the Dodgers tonight. Campisano, Wade, Merrill getting into the act. Five runs combined, seven, eight, nine, and the kid they call Campy contributes right here. Ground ball to third base that gets through Muncie again. One run will score. Bogarts is in, and the Padres take a 12 8 lead. Not been a fun night for Max Muncie. That'll be his second error. Oh, the Padres catch a break. Routine grounder right here. Can't field it cleanly off the heel of his glove. That's who he's won. Earl one is popped into shallow center field. Bogart's going out, won't get there. It's a four hit game for Will Smith. Freeman safe at third as Betts scores. 12 to 9. Hits coming all shapes and sizes. Ball is jammed Will Smith, so it's got tremendous amount of side spin on it. And when it gets out there to where it's going to land, Bogart's had the distance, but the curvature at the end fooled him completely. 
to the backhand and going to third base with the throw was Cronenworth. Nice play. They get the lead runner as it turns out, and Hernandez firing across the diamond from one corner to the other. At first, it looked like Jake was going to, you know, get that out of first base, but he saw the runner had plenty of time and just firing a strike across the diamond. Goes to his right, the pick. He's thinking about going to first, but wait a minute. Get that lead runner for the out. Nice. 2 2. Ground ball. Off Bogarts. Squirts free to score. Dodgers are within one. Mookie bats with a two run single. It's 12 11. He's taken six. Mookie does his job, battles his way through the count, puts it in play, gives himself a chance. Once it's deflected, he doesn't give up with just getting two RBIs. He gets himself into scoring position. Machado oh. drives one to deep left field. It is back and it is gone. Three run home run for Manny Machado. A blast in Seoul, South Korea. Padres take a 15 to 11 lead. Well, some much needed insurance. Manny Machado's first hit of the year is a long home run. He struck him out and the Padres win. Well, four out save for Suarez coming into the game. And the Padres win their first of 2024. And it comes to end the Seoul series in Seoul, South Korea. A 15 to 11 victory for the Padres.